Osages. I'm a Osage tribal member, and an Osage tribe is in Oklahoma, just uh, outside of Tulsa. How did you come here? What's that? How did I come here? Well, um, let's see. I was in uh, environmental management, working for the Nespers tribe, and um, that's where I met my uh, future wife. And uh, just moved here and started a family. So she was working here. She's an attorney. How long have you lived in America? Since '98, so um, about four years. Were you, were you working when the um, People's Lodge plans were starting? Um, no, uh, I was. I think I was four years old when the People's Lodge plan started. And I think, when was it, like 96 or 72 or, or sometime around there? I think I was 11 years old in 1976. So it's taken, that's when originally I think the community uh, took over or occupied part of Fort Lawton as it was being uh, accessed from the, na uh, from the army. And then, um, I guess there was a master plan, and then uh, some of the functions were changed around, or things weren't developed until until just recently. What was the, what, what decision was reached regarding the Mangola community and the United Tribes? Well, um, I don't think it, it's been finalized, but they they're talking about uh, a decrease in uh, square footage and building height. And they're still talking about programming and parking space and uh, uh, impacts, traffic, and environmental. So it's not it's not a done deal yet, but it should be in the pretty short term. How was the mayor's office involved in, in reaching out to the community? Well, under uh, the previous administration, uh, Tom Byers was a deputy mayor, and he was. Um, I believe one of the people who, um, along with Bernie White Bear, were instrumental in, the, in that day and age in uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, direct social action type of activities. So they were uh, compatriots of the same era, and Tom Byers uh, ended up in the mayor's office as deputy mayor, and Bernie was trying to get People's Lodge through. And so it was uh, a natural confluence of two people's lives that really, I think, brought it um, forward. Well, um, I was thinking of uh, ways to signal um, and working, talking with Michelle about ways to signal appreciation or um, honoring activities that were done to, uh, you know, help build momentum, keep the momentum going on um, improving relations with the Native community inside the city. And so one of the ways that I knew of, and you know, they had made previous uh, gestures, uh, honoring gestures for uh, the administration and the mayor's office in, in particular, that uh, you know, uh, something else that they hadn't done and I thought would, be, would have been, it would be a new thing was uh, an honor song. And I know in my tribe, when you have a song done, made for an individual, it is a big honor and also a responsibility. So um, I thought that might be appropriately used uh, as an example of something to do. What can the responsibility still mean? Is, and can you describe what Keeper of the Song means and what the responsibility is? Well, in, from my experience, um, you have a song and your uh, responsibility is to take care of the song. So um, you're not only taking care of the song, but you're taking care of the person's memory and or the uh, commemorative event, uh, you're, you pass along that knowledge. 
And you do that by, um, for instance, if the song is played in my tribe when the song is played, you uh, have that opportunity to give away during that period. So um, people who have helped you out through the year, helped your family, um, you, you honor them by giving them uh, gifts, uh, usually blankets in my tribe. So it wouldn't be the same here, but uh, in, in honoring a mayor's song, but when a mayor's song is sung, um, the mayor or the keeper of the song should be present and um, you know, acknowledge that in some appropriate way. So it's, um, part of that is helping uh, the city understand and giving the city and the mayor's office a role in the Native American community. So in a, a, an honoring role. So it's a very high role, and I think that's uh, significant. How, has, how have you worked that into your office so that it will be, you'll be, you'll be sure that the song is be taken care of? Well, uh, that's something I haven't addressed yet. <laughs> I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it. But you would hope that um, the person that, uh, uh, follows me in that office would have some knowledge of um, songs and honor songs and how to take care of them. So um, and that doesn't necessarily make that person have to be uh, Native American or have honor songs in, in their experience, but you know, it's something that you know, would be useful or would be helpful. Um, well, it, I think it, uh... I'm trying to get more at what an honor song, because there's different tribes that come. Right, and I think there are some songs that, um, can be used for certain things. Like if it was an individual song, um, you play it during a, a certain time, is, is my understanding. And if it were a flag song, um, the tribe, uh, whoever, the host drum or the host tribe at a powwow or a certain uh, certain events where the flag would be brought out that it would be used at that time and a mayor's office song would be used um, at appropriate times when the mayor's office is either um, bringing people together or um, being honored um, you know they can let other people use it in appropriate times as well where we Oh, right. And, um, gosh, I think we, um, it depends on the song and it depends on the situation. And, um, for instance, I'll give you a couple examples. The um, individual song that I know about, um, that is uh, sung at a certain time and the family is involved in when that song and in the order, but then if it's a flag song, then a tribe can use that. Um, when the flag is brought out, a tribal flag or the United States flag at the beginning of a certain celebration or powwow or something like that. And then, um, for instance, a mayor song would be used um, when the mayor's office is involved in either bringing people together or in uh, some some occasion, it doesn't have to be a tribal occasion. It could be any occasion that, um, basically, I, I, I was kind of looking on it as um, somewhat the, some, about, you know, five, five. Yeah. <laughs> Honor what songs an honor and, song is and, and yeah, and it, I, I guess honor song must. I think it's kind of a, a broad category, and so in I think in honor songs there are individual songs, there's flag songs, there's just honor songs for individuals for events, and I think this is the first one that I've heard about um, that is for an office uh, or for a, a government that isn't a tribe. So it's kind of. It's, it's unique in that sense. And um, I think uh, in talking to Arlie about uh, expectations of how it would be used, 
Um, the mayor could use it when he brings people together or at appropriate time when um, his presence is going to be uh, somewhat the focus and uh, be honored or something like that. And um, it's, it would be at an appropriate time when the, uh, when the event especially is keep, in keeping with why the song was written um, especially. So. migration. So it, yeah, the, the song was written um, basically in the spirit of cooperation between the Magnolia community. Well, um, yeah, I think um, not so much um, the Magnolia community, but it's, it's more uh, encouraging people, uh, citizens, to take leadership uh, in improving cooperation amongst peoples. And so everybody, um, the mayor's office uh, took that position and was honored for it and it could serve as an example for other people just to step forward and say, I'm gonna make a difference and uh, work towards better cooperation between communities. And that's, uh, it's kind of a challenge, I think, in that sense and encouragement um, to to move in the right direction. When, um, my answering is when, what exactly the responsibility of what was put in the mayor's office to introduce this song? What well, I think the, um, they, their responsibility and responsibility of if somebody in my position would be to uh, remember why the song was written and what it's, uh, what it's about and when to use it and um, uh, just how, how to keep it uh, honorable uh, so it's not misused or used inappropriately or uh, uh, in some way uh, changed, you know, that that in original intent stays true and that uh, it's used in the right way. <laughs> so, responsibilities of the mayor's office in um, relation to the song. I think um, responsibilities of uh, the primary responsibilities would be um, remembering and knowing about the song and its history and what it was uh, originally intended, uh, how it came about, its inception, or the idea behind its uh, creation. And then um, making sure that the song is used at appropriate times and appropriately by the mayor's office. And so the mayor's office has the ability to um, have the song, ask that the song is sung at certain occasions, but also um, let United Indians use it for certain occasions, or maybe another organization use it and for the right reasons and uh, for the appropriate um, uh, intentions. And so we have to be able to uh, determine what those are and to uh, you know, use our discretion in, in that. And so that's an important responsibility. Do you think this will help us make more songs? More songs? Yeah, if you could get uh, Well, uh, I don't know. It, it depends, I guess. Um, if uh, if action warrants more songs, maybe more songs will, will come about. You know, for instance, there are large Native American communities, you know, maybe more for Seattle, or there, there's other, other cities, uh, Minneapolis, uh, San Diego, Los Angeles, Denver, Phoenix, Albuquerque. There's lots of cities that um, could uh, be inspired by this as well. Um, other Indian communities that might do other things in a similar way, but um, you know, it's up to them. Uh, and I think a part, of, um, a part of how this came about is that it just seemed to be um, a number of people who are involved in a project and in cooperation that um, uh, saw an opportunity, I guess, and, uh, and were innovative in their thinking and just when those people got together and, and good things started happening, it 
deserve to be remembered. And so, you know, that's part of it also. I don't, maybe, um, and that's something else. We sh I, I wanted to talk to you about uh, getting some time with the mayor also, uh, some individual time to get him on uh, in the show. Um, that would be a good question um, for the mayor, but also, you know, wh what I would hope would come from it is that um, I think um, people would, would think about, you know, what. The, the history, but people would also think about um, the future, you know, where we are now and um, ask where they, where they want to be. And um, I think it, it, in a lot of ways it comes down to uh, just recognizing people as um, being related in one way or another. And that song really creates that bond and it allows people to be able to relate to one another in a different way. Um, now the mayor's office has some responsibilities in the Indian community, and um, therefore that makes you know the relationships between all the communities that much stronger, and people get closer. And um, how they uh, relate to one another is very basic. And one of my elders in my tribe always told us his parents always told him. Um, that they weren't always going to be around and just to be good to one another and that is so simple but it means a lot and that he also talked about um, Indian ways or our simple ways you know all we have is this you know the poor Indian all he has is this feather that is given to us and um, but it, it that's true on, on one level but also um, there's so much more behind it that the, the more you are around it and the more you have a, the relationship deepens and it, it goes much uh, further than that. It's just like your relationship in our dances to the drum. The drum is a person and you relate to it as a person and that relationship grows. So this song and will start to create this family uh, or community amongst communities and I think it will as people come around to hear the song, the people around the song are that community, and it will grow from there. And so hopefully more people will know about it and listen to it and listen for it and know when it's there and when it's not there and, and miss it when it's not there, things like that.